to share and play with them, counting and take away the numbers away, add them. I like about maths that, that there is many different types of activities in maths. Because we play a lot of fun games and activities. You don't you just use one strategy then you're done. You can use, like, there are thousands of different strategies in the world that you can use. And there are lots of different answers. And it's very fun at finding out new strategies and using them. We get to play lots of fun games. Maths is all around us, every day. We can't escape it. It helps us understand the world, how we think, act and solve problems. Teaching maths in kindergarten to year two, particularly addition and subtraction, helps set the foundations for lifelong learning. The most effective method to teach mathematics in kindergarten to year two is a hands-on approach. Research shows that the opportunity for students to manipulate concrete objects increases their interest and engagement in mathematics tasks. In kindergarten to year two, we teach addition and subtraction using a variety of strategies. Some of these include our friends of 10, looking at combinations of numbers that equal 10, using a number line to count on or count back from the highest number, and for solving problems with higher numbers, we teach the split and the jump strategies where we partition numbers using their place value. Using these hands-on strategies helps students to visualise and involve themselves in the process of adding and taking away. Well, when we get to kindergarten and, we, and when we get to uni, if we don't no, and we need to be like someone that needs to know. We need to know what. So, um, we go to work and get money. Um, because you need to know how fast you're going and what you're buying. You need to know how much of that will take out of your bank. It's important because if you didn't know math when you're older, you'll um, you will not um, be able um, to read your credit card and you won't know which house is yours. Making sure that learning in mathematics is connected to the real world helps students understand why we need to learn these skills. Ensuring that students know some reasons that we need to add or take away numbers, including at the shops or how many dinner plates to set at the table, helps to make it more meaningful and again increases student engagement. So how can you help support your child at home with addition and subtraction? Here are a few ideas. Be positive and make it fun. Saying things like, I was never good at maths, gives your child the green light not to try or give something a go. It's important you remain optimistic about maths so that it has a positive impact on your child's learning journey. Maths is everywhere. Include your child in everyday activities that involve maths. Think setting the table, setting a budget, shopping, or counting items around the environment. Talk about the different ways family members or friends use maths in their jobs or the other ways they use it every day. Most importantly, make maths fun. Turn maths into a game. Think card games, board games, games involving money, when counting or scoring, such as adding or taking away points when throwing and catching, or making targets to add point scores. We hope that you have found this video helpful as you continue to support your children on their journey to becoming confident mathematicians.